This room, room seems really good. Yeah, if you can actually fight, uh, if you can handle the uh, the horde mood room, horde mood, horde mode rooms, you're golden. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't worth it. He was like distractible, I guess would be the word. And I was hoping at first that I'd be able to just uh, cheese ball. An easy win. But no. You cannot cheese ball the easy win. It's not a thing. Okay. How many more of these do we have? We're gonna make a small small fortune just by offloading all of the uh, all of the crap. Uh oh. No, don't fall into the pit, you stupid item. Ah. Okay, well that's fine. Oh, is there a sparkle in this room too? Awesome. Into... Into the pit. Alright. Do I grab it? I've got inventory space. See you later! Whoop! <laughs> Suck it, ghost. I barely was on this run. And that's fine. Okay, uh, let's see. How expensive is this? 64,000. Okay. That's a, that's called, woo, I. Okay, place this. I don't know if people are more likely to sell from this. Or sell, buy from. But I'm gonna do it. All right. Got that down. We got that down. Going to be able to make some money here. We have another decoration. Family photograph. I get 50% extra gold for everything I sell. That's actually kind of not okay. Extra people. Extra people. Walking speed. Let's go walking speed of visitors. The faster that they cycle in and out, the better. Okay, while we're here. Drop off the bulbs, because I'm going to need them in mass. Okay. We almost have enough for some upgrades. Let's see, I can grab another forest history, because I, I don't even know if they're useful. But I know where to get them. Alternatively, no, 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 no. Let's just hold on to the forest histories. Um, just one for each. Okay, fruit, seeds, fluid. Still haven't tried selling any of these yet. Most of the, this stuff is actually pretty bad. Maybe, you know what? I will grab the bargain bin, just to, just so I don't have to go out of my way uh, to, to deal with some of these res resource types. Let's go grab the bargain bin. Hey, thank you, pig guy, for the resub. Watching uh, Ash from Stumped stream the other day, and whenever anybody would... Uh, Oh. oh, you know what? I should probably save up for the banker. Let's get the El Cheapo bargain bin. I could get the more expensive bargain bin. Let's get the more expensive bargain bin. Getting the uh, upgraded sword would be nice. But it's not actually a high priority. Getting the banker earlier might actually help more. I don't know. We'll see how much money I have when I finish today. The answer is lots. So where's the bargain bin? There it is. Yeah, I'm just going to toss toss in the things that I, I know probably aren't going to sell well. Which is pretty much leaves and junk. Hopefully people will just kind of rifle through that and take them off my hands so I don't have to worry about it too much. Because yeah, I've got I've still got quite a lot of random resources that I've been hoarding uh, that I probably don't need to hoard anymore, actually. 
Let's um, let's put this away. We've got golem designs. That I could sell for... I'm not going to say high amounts of money anymore because that has changed. <laughs> but I can sell for an amount. Oh, you... Already? Well, at least we know exactly where he's going to go. Okay, so she didn't like the price of that. Uh, it was this. Okay, well, that's happening. I'm glad time passes. Okay, so a thousand is still too much for this. And I can just put this up. And 800 is too cheap for that. Crazy. Uh, what was that? What did... Okay, that wasn't a reaction to that. 300 is too much for this stuff. Alright. You're not worth anything. I'm chucking it in the bargain bin. Speaking of bargain bin... Okay, there we go. Oh, interesting. We actually get more types of um, thieves the further in we get, because I've never seen... Um... I've never seen this type of thief before. Okay, well, she's booking it. With my random fruit thing. Is not worth a thousand. A thousand was too much. What are you smoking? I was selling him for 500. Uh, let's see, while we're here. I guess actually, I'm just gonna grab the diametic, diamagnetic out. Because if that's only worth 500, it just goes in the bar bargain bin, probably. There's only one of them anyway. Better to just offload all of what I got instead. Let's try 1,200. Somebody might not like that. We'll see. Okay, this is this is working out actually a lot smoother than I thought. I'm not sure if we're going to make as much money as we did. Uh... Yesterday. Okay. So this is not worth 2,000. I'm beginning to believe that the random crap that we got from, um, from the desert temple was not worth my time. I mean, it'd be nice to learn the prices for them, but it seems like they're kind of the random trash drops that we just get from re regular enemies. If it had been from a chest, I think it would have been more helpful. Okay. So these things sell for... People like it at a thousand, so let's pump it up to two. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna bargain bin these. Not gonna make as much money from it. But again, trying very hard to just get rid of stuff. Okay, now 500 was too low on this. I don't think I've sold any of the speed powder either. I remember I had sold for a lot, though. Okay. Capitalism is going. We have... we have money. Oh. Ten notes from the fruit tunnel. Sure. We had a request. That's a new one. I have never gotten a request before. But there we go. Okay. So is this like a roguelike or an RPG? Uh, bit of, it's kind of like a midpoint. It's got roguelike elements, but for the most part, it's, uh, it is straight up an RPG. I guess the closest I could compare it to really would be Reketeer, if you've ever heard of Reketeer. 
Because that's what it is. Dude, I just have to go kill, like, ten fruit turrets. That should be easy enough. She didn't like the price of that pot, but she bought it anyway. Popularity dropped, though. I wonder if you can actually force people to buy things. Hey, the bargain bin's cleared out. That's good. Really not useful for what I do. Okay, was that a good price? A thousand was a good price for that. I wonder if people are less likely to buy from the display cases. Well, if that's the case, that's the case. Yeah, sometimes the thieves don't steal from me. And I'm not entirely sure why. But that's okay. Ricketeer was pretty good besides the whole loan thing. I didn't even mind the loan thing, because it... it it gave you kind of a, um, a goal, something to worry about. Whereas, like, for this game, I have no goal apart from get to the end. So it means, like, apart from buying big, new, expensive things, I'm mostly just kind of rolling in so much money that I know what's the point. That's kind of how it feels sometimes. I, I, it starts to feel a little bit, uh, unnecessary. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump a lot of this stuff in the bargain bin. Which is this stuff worth? Okay, 500 is too low. Okay, so I've got madcap cash, which means... Mm -hmm. We should be able to buy the next upgrade, Level of the Sword. Okay. So that's going to cost money. Question is, what do we do? Banker? Increase the popularity of Renoka by unlocking more dungeons. Oh, okay, so no banker for a while. I could get the... I could get an additional 20%. I could save for even more display cases. Yeah, I'm very curious what showcases do. Oh, a brand new quest point, so merchants can receive customer requests. Okay. Or let's go check the other even possibly more most important thing. Okay. Enchantments. How much does it cost to enchant this thing? 25 damage for 32,000. Pricey. My damage is already really good. Let's get the, um... Let's invest in my future first. Because honestly, I, I'm having trouble clearing the forest. The first floor of the forest just because I'm, I'm making so much cash. And getting the gold cash register is going to make a, uh... A massive long listing long listing long lasting benefit what do beds do in this game it increases your maximum health total it's it can be useful especially if you know you're like going off to fight a boss specifically um yeah the problem is i'm gonna have to start sacking resources just so that I can uh, progress. I believe there was a pit. All right, looks like we're gonna be here again. I might just end up enchanting this thing a couple of times. I mean, that certainly will uh, will speed up. Uh, it will certainly speed up progress. That was a slick dodge. Okay. Doing fine. I'd like to upgrade the bow as well, but it's, I mean, kind of low priority. Yeah, I didn't even look at the chest. Uh, I forgot. I'm sorry. It happens. 
Honestly, it's the uh, third round chest that really, really is important to me. I can't hit these things. Uh-oh. I might die. You serious? I try and swing! Okay, there it goes. Okay. It's worth a potion. I don't want to lose this. Okay, we're getting those flower notes. I really hate those slimes. That's the one enemy that I don't think I can really tolerate in this game. Okay, so we have breakable, breakable things. Unbreak you. Unbreak you. And let's let's cycle some things up to the top. Because I still need a number of these, though I don't need this anymore. I can remove that at the very least. We're still waiting for some logs, too. But yeah, that was... That went poorly. Those orange slimes are really obnoxious, because uh, half the time when I swing into them... Um, half the time when I swing into them, they, um, they just absorb me, and it's kind of super frustrating. Like, at least the seed spitters I can work with. Okay, and I can send stuff home immediately. Let me see, what can I, what can I send? I'm gonna just send the mystery. Okay. Who do I have a bunch of? That, which we're gonna send home. I've got some fruit. I've got a bunch of things that can just send send stuff home. Send you home, followed by you. Okay, what else do I have a massive number of that I could use? Not as much as I'd like. Probably this stuff? I'm trying to prioritize sending home the, uh, the valuable things. Surprisingly hard to prioritize. Okay, so that's, that's a lot of it. We just gotta make sure this doesn't get wrecked. Cool. And that's the end of it. But yeah, the orange slimes, I think, are the only enemy that remains that truly infuriate me, because they're not... They don't feel fair. There's no, like, direct counter to them. You can't block them. And it's very difficult to hit them in melee, and there's only one ranged weapon in the game. Um, I guess the direct counter, the best one, would be either a weapon... I mean, really, a weapon with longer reach. <sighs> But it is, I don't know, it's just kind of frustrating to be stun, stun locked. I feel like, um, I feel like after you've gotten, uh, slimed, there should be a long-ish cooldown on when you can get slimed again. Okay. Let's start offloading this stuff that we know isn't worth much. There we go. And this isn't very good. Oh, Sparkle? There's sparkles everywhere. Oh, it's a big happy face. That's cute. This is just a treasure chest. I wonder what that chest is for. I'm, I'm assuming I'm supposed to put something in there. Uh, but it's going to be a while before I think we... Oh. put away my bow. Okay. Sell some of this crap. What else do we have? Life fluid doesn't sell for that much. Does it? I think life fluid's like solidly in the 500 territories, which isn't so bad. Is it a sacrifice chest? You know that that could be it.
We could try sacrificing something in there. Oh, it sends items home. Does it send all items home? Because if it sends all items home, that makes my life a lot easier. Oh, we got a warrior spear. All right. Uh, quick equip. What's the damage on that? It's significantly worse than what I've got, but that's okay. Let's get rid of the... No, 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 no. I want to get rid of that. It will send all items home. Well then. Time to go back into that pit. Okay, and... Quick move all. Except for you, just because. Everything else can easily go home. Perfect. That's awesome. Okay, so I'll keep that. I'll keep that in mind. I'm sure somebody might have even told me about that uh, the first time I saw it. I apologize if I missed that. This is kind of a focus-intensive game. Oh. I like the spear. Um, ow! I like the spear. We're gonna have to upgrade it though before it's worthwhile. But I might. I might upgrade it just so I can have the the reach to deal with. Uh, the orange slimes. Let's see. Two more rooms. I like the happy face, though. That's cute. What I maybe should have done was uh, clear the floor, the whole floor first. But honestly, most of this stuff is trash. Wow, really? That is a lot more homing than I thought it was. Would. Like every time, every time I think I got a handle on that specific. Yeah. Whoosh. Ah, ah. I'm taking this way too casually. Being able to one shot everything definitely gives you some bad habits. Well, maybe not everything. But I can I can one shot way more than I used to be by telling you for the mod deleted it. Oh, sparkle! God damn it! Uh, we can't afford sparkle. I've been on this this floor too long. I'm not even done yet. Oh, this is gonna go great. Looks like he's leaving me alone. I took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm aware of sparkles, but the thing is, the moment, um... Come on! Okay. That was just mean. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, the moment Ghosty Pants shows up, uh, all sparkles are off. There's no point in them. I'm just gonna get rid of these. I don't think that's even... That's worth, like, no money. Let's see, it's probably worthwhile for me to use a healing potion here. Probably. At the very least, let's uh, let's sell all the crap that we don't need from my inventory. Because if I die here, and I probably will, there's actually no consequence to starting over. Because none of these none of these things in my inventory are um, good, except for the things in the top bar, which luckily I get to keep. I really wish those would stop dropping uh, once you have all ten. Okay. So we are... Oh, good. Healing pool. 
How much does this heal me up to? Full? Yeah, so it it absolutely scales with your with your HP. I was kind of curious about that, because it was like, you know, how much, um... How much healing can I get out of some of these things? And the answer is... Not an insubstantial amount. It certainly makes uh, longer runs with better armor better. I was kind of worried it would be one of those where it, it stays forever stuck at, um... Uh, it stays forever stuck at like 100 HP and it's like, you can only take 100 HP on this before it becomes pointless for you to stay. Thank you, Bush Potion. For existing. Okay, right. The other thing I can do with this guy especially is I could just block. Because, yeah, blocking is a little bit better than I give it credit for. I just almost never, uh... I, I stopped doing it because it, was, it wasn't as helpful on uh, the Golem Dungeon. There were a lot of enemies that could just break block after like one or two hits. There's no real heavy bruisers in this, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, in uh, in the Golem Dungeon, there's there's a bunch of like really heavy hitter kind of Block breaker type characters, and this one, this is this is not. It's it's actually super. I, I, hmm. I want to say it's pleasant. There's a lot of ranged enemies though, so it couldn't be a problem. Same thing with status effects. Oh, he's just firing mud. That makes my life easier. I'm saying that a lot today, but there's a lot of things that have made... Uh, oh, good. We need we need that wood. Okay, so at this point, this is no longer a throwaway run, but I I figured that kind of became obvious the moment um, I hit that healing spring and got all my HP back. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't, I'm not just going to throw this one to get extra resources. Because that'd be silly. Oh, sparkle? I mean, the thing is, if I really wanted to be excessive, I could just fling myself into every pit. Okay. Well, I've got a whole compliment. Let's come back to this one. Because, yeah, that's, um... That's good. I'm down for it. But we want to find the exit first. Because if I don't, I'm going to be in a world for world of hurt as Ghosty Pants decides to haunt the shit out of me all the way through the rest of the, the level. I don't want that. That would suck. Ah, let's see. So I can decurse something. Let me decurse. I'm just going to decurse that. That didn't, that didn't really help. These can get sold. These can get over. Yeah, we're still carrying around a bunch of comparative garbage. We got rid of most of our good stuff almost in immediately. But that's actually, I mean, that's that's worth it for me. Well, I've already found the exit, haven't I? Switch book for useless items like plant flesh. It won't trigger him. Oh, good to know. Keep getting rid of the uh, the red, red slime. Uh, let's see. Well then, let's uh, let's go switch it out. And we already know where the exit is, and everything is good. Oh, right. Uh huh. I forgot you can do that. Uh, let's see. No. Yeah, if you see a dead adventure on the ground, loot them. Chances are they actually have equipment for me. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, it's this one. But yeah, it might almost... Especially if you're, like, super efficient with things. You might actually be able to, um... 
There we go. Uh, can I just switch in the small amount? Yeah, he didn't mind. Um, but if I wanted to, I could actually try rolling into every pit. And as long as I haven't taken too much damage, I can more or less rely on the pool to, uh, to offset any amount of damage I take uh, for such silly shenanigans. But it, it might, you know, it help. I don't know, it's mainly the time investment that would suck. What about this one? Nope. It was just big and convenient. I don't know. Could have. It could have worked. 